Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's vlog is a food haul. I've just come back from Audi to do a top up shop and it took quite a while because it's the first time I've done a food shop with baby and I fed her before I went in because she was due her feed and I changed her as soon as I got in. She started crying. I had done some of the shopping and she started crying. So I had to stop, go back to the car because she needed changing again and she wanted more food. So yes, I've experienced what it's like again to go shopping with a baby. So it took a while, but the staff looked after all my stuff while I went and sorted her out. And then it took about two hours. It seems really long, but obviously... I have to tend to her before I would just go and do the food shop, pay, come home. But obviously now there's a beautiful little person that needs my attention more than the food shopping. Anyway, we got by and we done it. She slept for the rest of the time we was in the supermarket and spent a total of £160.17. and pence. I wanted to try Audi again because for the last few weeks I've been doing online shops with like Tesco and Sainsbury's and the food has just not been lasting and it seems like it's really expensive. I'm shopping, when I shop I'm making sure I make meals so that I know we have meals for the week or for 10 days but it just seems like the food's not lasting, lasting such as like the snacks and stuff. I know fridges go down quickly because... The items are fresh and the life on them is not long, but I just thought, no, this ain't right. So I went back to Audi and I picked up a lot more because the kids tend to like a lot of the stuff that's in there. So I will show you what I bought. Well, I can't remember the prices of everything, but this is what I picked up and I will at the end or in the comments, sorry, I will have a list of the meals that we'll have for the next seven to ten days. Here's the receipt. It's quite long with everything that we got. So I'll start with the fridge stuff. So I've got two packs of vegetable medley. I think this was £1.39 a pack. So I've got two of those. Um, I've got some fruit. So I've got some strawberries and grapes. Sorry, that, that noise in the background is the baby in her swing. and She's just making some noise, but she is asleep. So, yeah, I've got strawberries and some grapes. I've got these little apple and grape snack pack. They were 39 p each. So these are good for um, if the kids want a snack or for Maya's pack lunch that she has. I've got some mango. This is for Maya. I think this was £2.39. I can't remember. I'll double check. Some spring onions, some mini peeler oranges. I haven't bought oranges for a while, so I thought I would um, pick some up. Some apples, I believe these are 99p. I only bought one pack because we've got the mini packs as well. Some bananas. Uh, Jaden likes to make smoothies daily now, so I bought him some bananas so that he can do that. And... Some peppers, I just bought one pack. I just, I'm trying not to overbuy and I don't want to waste anything. So I just bought one pack and if I need more, I will get more. Cucumber, I'm not sure how much that was. I think it was 79p. And then I've got some baby cucumbers that were 89p. Some peppers, I think they were 139 I think. So these two Maya usually uses for a pat lunch and I've got some cherry tomatoes as well. I'm just moving them out of the way. Oops, sorry, because there's no space. And I just got, I have some yogurts left, but I mainly got these for Imogen. And I cannot remember how much they were. They must be between like 79p and 129 some spaghetti, um, some penne pasta. I think this was 41p. I just got two packs. I like to always have pasta because you can make so many meals out of pasta. So I've got that. 
and then some breakfast bits i had cereal so i didn't bother buying it buying any any i bought these chocolate crepes i think they were 139 and these pancakes the kids are going to be so happy because they haven't had these for a while and they love them so i bought two packs of these these probably won't last long because they go through them quite quickly and i bought the maple syrup to go with it this was quite pricey though. i think it was three pound 99 3.99 but they like it with the pancakes and it usually lasts long the crispy leaf salad that we can have when we have burgers or just on the side when we have a meal i bought some roast chicken breast chunks for sandwiches uh they were 99p um some ham i think this was 95 or 99p i can't remember that's just for sandwiches as well some baby potatoes so that will go with a meal either with steak uh with ribs or with salmon i'm not sure yet um i'll see what the kid want it with as well so i bought those i can't remember the price but i put them up these crispy potato slices these are a favorite now because we actually cook them in the air fryer and they come out so nice and everyone's just a fan so instead of like chips we'll have these uh we usually have it with um chops i didn't buy chops this time though but they can have it with pizza or uh burgers um, I can't remember how much they were, but I will um, put the price up at the end. These Meatsters minis, they're just pepperamis, but Audi version. Maya actually doesn't like the pepperamis no more. She prefers Audi ones, so she'll be happy that I got these because she hasn't had them for a long time. Uh, they're one ninety nine for 10 and I bought two packs. They should last a little while. And chopped tomatoes, I just bought two. I always like to top up on my chopped tomatoes because I use them a lot for my cooking. Heinz tomato ketchup is quite a large one, but it was pricey. I think it was $3.99. And then we got um, some snack noodle pots. Um, I can't remember the price, maybe 69p. Um, so I've got two of these because both Maya and Jaden like them and will eat them. That will be for like a lunch if they want. I bought evaporated milk because I like to use that in my hot chocolate. Some corned beef, that would be another meal. I do like corned beef with veg and rice. I've got sweet corn. This was actually a four pack, but the pack broke. Um, the other two are on the side somewhere. And that was, I think, can't remember, 129 maybe or maybe more. Um, I had ran out of pasta sauces, so I bought two of these. Um, I'll use that with my mints, or sometimes I'll use chopped tomatoes and make my own sauce. And we can use it when we're doing like um, a pasta dish as well. I've got um, Chinese style curry cooking sauce and sweet and sour cooking sauce. I bought two because... Um, I usually make a curry and we've tried different sauces. This one is not as spicy and Maya prefers it. So I bought this one and that's to do a curry and then sweet and sour. Um, I'll also use some diced chicken and make um, some sweet and sour chicken with rice. So there's two dishes there. I don't know if I'll make two chicken dishes um, in the same week. Um, We'll just see um, what happens. So, yeah, I bought these two. And then we've got these for Jaden. Katsu curry pot noodle. He likes these. So I thought I'd get them. We haven't had those for a while. I got some baps uh, to go with burgers when we make them. And I've got two packs of naan bread, so they'll go with our curry meal. Um, I bought two packs because usually I just cut these up, but the kids like them so much, so I thought I'd get two packs so they can have a big one each for themselves. I think these were 99p a pack on 89p. Coleslaw, again, that will just go at the side of a dish. Not sure what dish yet. We'll see. I bought two packs of eggs. Um, I used to get a big 20 
four pack, but I found that um, I can't really find big packs anymore. I'm not sure what's going on with eggs. So I just got two 12 packs, but I think these were two pounds uh, 69 a pack. So it was quite pricey. This has been half eaten already. School cake. It is so yummy. I bought two. That one will be for the kiddies to have. Can't remember the price. Everything, the prices have changed, so it's hard to know how much they were. Um, and then there's a lot of snacks here, but we have had limited snacks. And every time I've done the top-up shops with Sainsbury's or Tesco, we've hardly had any. So I thought I need to top up on these. So I bought Jive. There's five in a pack. That's just like a alternative to Twix. Then I bought some Titans. That's like an alternative to Mars bars. These caramel wafers. They're similar to the normal caramel wafers, but I can't remember the brand of the other one. And then shortbread biscuits. These are an alternative to Oreos. I think I bought two packs of those, and I think they're about 45p or 49p. So I bought two of those. Some digestives. Ooh. Some digestives, some bourbons, I think they're about 33p. Some wackos, they're an alternative to Rocky bars, and some chocolate chip cookies, and then I just got some Mawam strips, some fizzy worms, another pack of Mawam strips, the joysticks, um, jammy wheels, which is an alternative to jammy dodgers and then ice ring minis which is an alternative to party rings so those are the snacks for the kiddies and then i only got a few freezer bits because we didn't really need much so i've got three potato fries these are expensive these are like 279 and it's not even full up to the top it literally stops there you can half that um, but sweet potato fries are expensive, but we like to have those with our meals. I bought some battered cod. I haven't bought cod for a while, but I was thinking of fish and chips for one night. Although Maya cannot have it because she's allergic to fish, so I'll make her an alternative. I just bought some ice lollies because we always have to have them and we've run out because Immy goes through them so super quick. I wanted to try these as well. They're Titan ice creams. Now, I know the Titan is an alternative to Mars bar, so I'm wondering if it tastes the same. So I'm going to try. And I usually buy Mars ice cream, so I thought, let me try these and see how they taste. So looking forward to that. I bought two boxes of breaded popcorn chicken. They're between 99p and £1.29. So I bought two of those. That would be a meal for the kids. They'd have, like, breaded um, chicken with those um, crispy chip things i saw i showed you earlier or chips or sweet potato fries or hash browns so there's quite an alternative there that they can have i bought some fish fingers i want to try Immy with some fish fingers and see how she gets on because she's been exploring more with foods now um steak bakes they're for amaya uh, she likes to have those for lunch on the weekends and i bought chicago town pizzas these are quite pricey as well now you used to be able to get like uh two packs and get an offer but not many places do that anymore um but i still pick them up um so maya or myself will eat these pepperoni ones and then i bought the four cheese for jay because these are the only um ones that he likes so these are for him uh, i started buying two four pints of milk now because we go through milk um quite quickly um, and I'll just keep one in the back of the fridge for when we need it. And this is filtered milk, so it lasts a bit longer. So that's what I've been doing. I was getting, I think it was the Cravendale brand. Yes, it was the Cravendale brand. I've been getting that one now because the the life on them is a lot longer. So these was the Audi alternatives. And the date on it is 14th of June. So that's really good. So I bought two of these. And I bought some summer fruit. We didn't need much juice because we've got quite a bit. But um, Immy likes the summer fruit. So I just bought that 
for her and then i've just got a few other pieces like uh for me and the girls i think these were 99p cheese and tomato pizza we usually add some extra cheese onto this oh hold on guys i've got to get baby sorry i had to get baby she sometimes cries like that in her sleep and likes to be picked up and cuddled so she's now in my arms so yeah as i was saying um we add extra cheese to the cheese and tomato pizza just to make it more cheesy i also bought a pepperoni one i think it was 99p as well but i'm not sure we haven't tried this pepperoni one from aldi but i'm sure it will taste fine i got some steak which was eight pounds for two quite two big um sirloin steaks they're quite chunky so that is quite a good offer and then we got some burgers so that's why we have the buns so we've got cheeseburgers we'll have that for one of the days got some mints mints has gone up in price as well i think this one was three pound 39 so yeah we've got our mints oh hi baby and then we got some breaded, breaded chicken goujons. So we can have these individually. Again, with chips, sweet potato fries, uh, mashed potato, beans, peas. Depends on what the kids fancy. Um, alternatively, what we'll do is put these in the air fryer and make uh chicken goujon burgers and they are lovely and put some salad in it with some mayonnaise it tastes really nice so there's two different alternatives to a meal there and we also have ribs we haven't had these for ages me and maya like these so we'll have these spare ribs with some corn on the cob and some salad and sometimes we'll add a uh, sweet potato mash with it and this this is quite good the life on this is long so this is the 28th of june so that's quite a good life and then i thought we'd try these barbecue chicken drumsticks uh they're already pre-seasoned um so yeah i just picked them up to try them and see what they taste like and then we have this is a really big packet of diced chicken i think i paid uh nine pounds and some change for it and the reason i got such a big one is because i'm gonna make a curry and then i'm also gonna do either fajitas and a i had some oh the sweet and sour chicken all right darling yeah so the curry sweet and sour chicken and fajitas this should stretch because i'll cut it up some more season it and add some peppers and stuff. Hey, what's wrong? Sorry, guys. Hey, darling. So, yes, it was better to get this huge packet for £9 and some change. Because the smaller packets was like £4.50. And you was not getting a lot of chicken in them. And then I got my favourite my spatch cooked chicken this will be for sunday dinner i haven't had this one for ages and i thought um yeah you just can't go wrong um i think this is i think it's around four pound 69 i can't remember but again everything is quite pricey and then i've got a large cheese because we go through cheese super fast i think that was four pounds and some change as well but hopefully it will last we'll soon see so now i've got to just put this all away um and hopefully the cupboards will be filled and just look at what we're gonna have for meals so that was my weekly grocery food haul from aldi there's a lot more there than when i was doing the top-up shops from tesco and sainsbury's and they was being delivered so that should definitely last between seven to ten days i'm gonna put it all away now and i'm gonna see what meals um i'm gonna do for the kids some of them will be a bit different because mine's allergic to fish and then sometimes uh, we don't all eat the same meals on the same days but thank you for tuning in if you like our content please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell 
and I'll see you on the next video.